Hi, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you so much. I really and truly appreciate the support that you've been giving me this past few months. If you're new to my channel, thank you and welcome and I hope you subscribe before you go. I'll leave any comments that you like and please give this video a thumbs up. So today it's Monday, October 15th which starts my third week of the outfits of the day or what I wore. And I'm just trying to piece together outfits on my own from uh, the different clothing subscriptions that I get, like the uh, Stitch Fix, the Mi Mix and Match, um, my Prime Wardrobe, um, and then just regular like Target, Walmart, Kohl's, things like that, and plus items in my closet. So let me know how you think I'm doing pairing these outfits on my own without the uh, help of uh, you know some other adult supervision. And I'm also trying a new format this week that I'm, I'm hoping will work out. So um, usually I start these videos and I'm sitting down and I just kind of go over everything kind of more in detail than I probably should. And then a, a quick um, show of what the whole outfit looks like. So I'm trying to do it this way. Um, and again, I'm just trying it. Let me know your thoughts. Um, just trying to um, get through it a little faster so I don't waste as much of your time. I will still put timestamps in. So if I do get chatty by mistake, you can kind of fast forward it to the next day. So um, to get started, I am wearing this necklace and it was by uh, Leah Sophia, a home party from maybe seven or eight years ago. And it's, um, I got a few pieces from, from them. And this just seems to go with a lot of different things with uh, this type of neckline. This blouse that I'm wearing is um, actually from my August Stitch Fix. It was a Beacon Julia, the uh, surplus. It's like a mock wrap top. I do have a cami under it because it's uh, pretty open if you don't. It's got like this rounded um, hemline right here. So um, I think if it was smaller, it would probably could pass for a front tuck. But otherwise, it just makes it look finished. The back is a little bit longer. So if you do wear it with leggings, everything that you need to cover is covered. The pants that I'm wearing are actually uh, from Walmart still. They're my Dan Skin Yoga Pants, which I thought I was going to give up, but I'm not ready to give them up. They are just so comfortable that I just, I could live in these, and I probably do more than I should. Uh, the shoes that I'm wearing are from um, Home Shopping Network, and they're Ann Klein Sports. Let's see if I can show them a little bit. It's really ladylike, isn't it? So, um, suede on top. It's got, uh, little perforations in it got a little bow right there and a wedge heel so probably about an inch to an inch and a half wedge heel and I thought they might dress up my yoga pants a little bit so anyway this is my outfit of the day for Monday um, let me know what you think on this it's a casual kind of look but I think um, it kind of looks okay for you know business day at work when we don't have any visitors around um, so yeah that's my look for Monday thanks for watching and we will see you tomorrow hi I'm Nancy and welcome to my Tuesday outfit of the day so today I just uh, kept it uh, I had a dress on but I kept it kind of casual we did have uh, some training classes going on today at work and some vendors setting up for an open house tomorrow. So I kind of wanted to dress it up a little bit, but not look like I was overdoing it. So anyway, I've got this uh, blazer on first. Um, this actually I got from Target, um, and I think I got this for the first open house that we had when I started work here um, in Minnesota. And um, so this has to be somewhere between 18 and 20 years old. And I think it's still in pretty decent shape probably because of uh, going up and down on the weight. Half the time it just sits in my closet not being used. Um, the dress that I've got on is actually um, from my mix and match box. And this was the second uh, box that I got. It was a dress that I had seen on their Facebook page and I had requested it from my stylist, uh, Lauren, and she was able to snag one for me. It's a very soft, it's like a t-shirt material, but a little bit more structured, so it's got some weight to it. And it was only $35, so. Um, I think it quickly became a favorite of mine. It's got a little crisscross action. Um, goes a little bit lower than I would like, but I try to stay to myself in my office and try to do as much work as I can. Um, the pumps that I've got on are from QVC. They're the Franco Sarto pumps. And if you're, you're not a shopper at QVC, 
with the equal pays, you don't know what you're missing. I always scope those out in my emails and say, what do I need that I can get the six evil pays? So this is uh, the dress. I think it's probably a little short for, probably some people would say it's a little too short for my age, but I like it anyway. Um, it's comfortable. It's There's no zippers. There's no buttons. You just put it over your head and go. So this is my look today, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone. Hi, I'm Nancy and welcome to Wednesday. This is my Wednesday outfit of the day and it's my third week of doing uh, this type of video. So hoping that um, I'm doing okay and I'm not boring you guys to tears. And again, just looking for your input on how I'm putting things together. And I'm sure this outfit looks very familiar as I just got it on Monday. Um, and I wanted to kind of dress up today since we had we had a, a lunch and learn event. So about 25 people came in. Plus there were like 10 different vendors uh, doing the class. And plus we had another training class. And then we had a catered lunch. So that was uh, pretty cool. So I wanted to kind of dress up for it. So uh, again, it's the outfit that I got on Monday from Stitch Fix. It's 41 Hawthorne dress. And just uh, love this detail at the neckline. Um, got a couple of little embellishments that when you turn just right it's got a little spark a little bling what with the necklace that I did in the try on same cardigan that I got on um, Monday stitch fix and I love the detail on this that I don't know if I showed it too well but it's got I'm gonna call it a shawl collar because I don't know exactly what you call it but then it goes right into a pocket on both sides so draping and then, and then this which worked out great because it's like 30 degrees outside so it's a pretty cool day um this dress is sleeveless but you know if i'm working at um inside under a heat vent this jacket was pretty much all you need um this dress again it's got that flouncing in the pleats that i really liked i think it really kind of gives a little bit of movement but not uh, overkill and um a little bit different than my try on i put it with some higher booties and these are the vince camuto booties that i got from um QVC. They had another um, day that it was like six evil pays on shoes, so I grabbed these because I had been eyeing them. Not sure if they went well with the dress, but it was a cold day, so my feet uh, my feet thanked me for wearing them. And um, just again, just let me know your thoughts on this outfit. If you would wear it with these booties, and let me just uh, put this down a little bit to show show it with the booties. Um, don't know if you would wear these booties for the dress or if you would I should strictly just save them for leggings and jeans anyway that is my Wednesday that is my Wednesday outfit of the day thanks again for watching and we'll see you tomorrow have a great night everyone hi I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel today is Thursday so it is the uh, fourth outfit of the day for this week and uh, I think this outfit looked better in my head uh, than it looked on. But anyway, I am really enjoying these uh, Vince Camuto, the Adriana um, white booties that I got from QVC. They are just so comfortable. And after I had to return the ones that were the four inch heels, I can't believe that just going to a three inch heel uh, makes all the difference. Let me see if I can zoom in on the boots a little. No, not really. So anyway, they got a side zipper right here. A um, little bit of slouching in, in the front there, the pointed toes. Just really comfortable. Um, feels like I'm reliving uh, the 60s or early 70s again. So anyway, I'm wearing it with um, the Spanx Casilla leggings that I got from um, my Stitch Fix in September. Um, with that, I've got this sweater that I also got from that same uh, September Stitch Fix. And this was actually, I actually uh, exchanged it. I got a large that I thought was just really boxy. Um, it was a little bit longer than this and I exchanged it for a medium. But I, I don't know, it's still that kind of boxy uh, feel. And maybe just because it's, um, you know, and I know a lot of the things for the season are coming in kind of oversized and maybe just uh, wearing things in the summer that were more fitted. Um, so maybe just, it's, I'm just not used to it being like this. Um, it does have a little bit of like a corset or a lace-up detail in the back um, that goes all the way down. It is not adjustable at all. I don't know if I turned around enough so you could see it, but um, 
it is not adjustable at all, so it just stays that way. Um, I was, when I tried this on, I actually had planned on just wearing it with a scarf, a uh, black scarf. But we started the day about 30, uh, we went up to about 68, so a scarf would have been okay at the end of the day. But in the morning, it was just a little too chilly. So I ended up wearing uh, this mock turtleneck that I got from Walmart maybe five years ago. It's uh, just sleeveless, so it went good under this, knowing that it was going to be around 68 at the end of the day. And then because I wasn't going to wear a black scarf with it, I ended up just uh, putting on a single strand of the Anora Pearls that I also got from QVC. Um, so again, this is my outfit of the day. And I think in hindsight, I probably wouldn't wear this again with the leggings. I think it's maybe just a little too boxy, a little too short. Um, you know, when I had the large on, it went maybe about two inches lower. So I thought it was a good length for these. Um, so I would probably just wear this again um, with, with jeans instead of wearing it with uh, the leggings. But again, this is my outfit of the day. You know, and I'm thinking of, you know, some way you could tie this this in it wouldn't you know look so boxy maybe it would look a little more flattering but you know just going to work it wasn't like I was really trying to uh, go out of my way to impress anyone other than you know just working and showing up but again so this is the outfit of the day um, of course I did want to show it with my head in it don't know why but so let me try that again backing up So this is my outfit for Thursday. Uh, in these leggings, um, the Casilla Spanx leggings, they are just so comfortable. They're very soft, uh, very controlling, and once you uh, shimmy your way into them, they're really comfortable. These uh, Vince Camuto uh, booties from QVC, I just love these. Um, they also have like a bright red color, and I did get the black ones that I wore yesterday. So it can just a uh, comfortable, comfortable look after wearing a couple of dresses this week. So thank you again for joining me and we will see you again tomorrow. Hope everyone is having a fantastic night. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again tonight. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you so much for watching me all week and helping me with my clothing choices. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up on this video and uh, tap the bell so you'll be notified when I make some videos. So anyway, to start this video, and this is going to, of course it's Friday, woohoo! So it is going to be my last um, outfit of the week for, for week three. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be struggling trying to figure out how to get a battery out of the lawnmower and get a new one put in. So that is going to take up most of my, uh, my day tomorrow, so I thought I would just end it today. Um, let me know what you think about these videos, if it's something you don't mind watching, if you think it's okay for me to continue, or if you're like, I can't take it anymore for weekly videos. So let me know what you think, and we'll go from there. And again, Friday, so it was casual Friday. I do have a Balzano bag. My second Balzano bag came in today, so I knew it was coming. So in honor of that, I wore the uh, Swarovski uh, Crystal. Uh, little choker pendant that I got um, in my first Balzano bag last month and as well as the uh, the little bracelet that came in my, my Balzano bag last month so after this I'm going to do uh, an unbagging so I'm excited to see what I got this month but for what I wore today for casual Friday and I've got this uh, for my September stitch fix I got this um, um, good human uh, sweatshirt very very soft it's a cowl neck dolman sleeve um, it's got this little pouch pocket just uh, very very soft and when I first put it on I didn't even notice how big it was on me um, so it was uh, after I had already returned the sweater that I wore yesterday and Thursday's video I had already returned that for a smaller size and I was just kind of going back and answering the comments and I said oh maybe it really is too big I was just so excited it was so soft and with the uh, Spanx I had on with it it just I just didn't notice how big it was so I got in touch with my stylist Lauren and customer service and uh, two weeks after I had already got the sweater back they said I could go ahead and exchange this for a medium so I got the medium the medium um, don't like it as much as I like the large the uh, large one was about five inches longer so it was like the perfect tunic length it came right about here uh, going to the medium it's uh, 
you know, just, just this length. Um, it still kind of looks big in here, but I think that's because it's the dolman sleeve. But it is so soft and so comfortable and cozy that I'm going to love it anyway. I probably won't be wearing it to work with leggings, but I would wear it with jeans. The jeans that I'm wearing are from my October fix, stitch fix that I got uh, earlier this week. And this is the Warped, Warped and Weft or something. Uh, Kaylee Skinny Jeans. They're like a faded uh, gray. Uh, very, very, very stretchy. Um, I kept these ones, but um, I think if I had known really how much stretch they had, I would have uh, sized down um, in these ones. These are uh, a little, little too stretchy during the day, so I got to have to keep pull, pulling them up, hoping that they shrink a little bit. But they are still, they're really soft, they're really comfortable, so I think I can live with that. The shoes that I'm wearing are from the Earth brand shoes. Um, I think this was the Day Lily, Day Lily model from Earth Shoes on QVC. Um, very comfortable. I love the Earth shoes. They have uh, got so much padding under the heel and all the way down to the toes. They're very flexible, so when you bend, you you know, they bend with your feet. These, I think, have like a two and a half inch heel, and it's just like, just like walking barefoot. I mean, they are just so comfortable. Um, I got a couple of earth shoes this year, and I just love them. They're really comfortable. Um, if you ever wanted to try them on QVC, they have a lot of um, e evil pays, and if once you kind of keep checking their channel, you'll see when they get the... Uh, Evil Pays come in, so if you can get a pair on like five or six Evil Pays, you know, it's a couple of dollars a month doing it that way, so it makes it very affordable. So, that's my look for today, and again, it's uh, this cowl neck sweater, the jeans are from Stitch Fix, the shoes are from QVC, and just a simple look for today, and I'm going to open my Bolzano bag next. So again, thank you so much for watching, sticking with me all week. Really appreciate your support and hope to see you again soon. And well, we're going to see you soon if you stick around for the Balsano bag. Alrighty, take care everyone. See you soon. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. I wasn't going to do a video today, but I figured I got ready early enough and I'm going out just to buy a battery. So I thought I would show you my Saturday look. And this will end uh, my week three of um, Outlook, not Outlook, but Outfits of the Day. Um, so anyway, to start off, I'm wearing the uh, new Balzano bag that I got yesterday. I do not have anything in this color. I've never bought a handbag in this color. So I just thought I would try to pair it with some neutrals today just to fit it in. I've got this uh, blazer that is, uh, oh, it's a leather jacket. It's from Wilson. Um, Wilson leather outfit um, about a mile down the street for me so this is probably a good 10 years old um, nice line pockets nice and warm inside the pocket uh, the scarf um, just a multicolor scarf I got from Walmart a few years ago this uh, sweater that I'm wearing is actually it's got different textures in it not sure if the camera is going to pick it up but uh, this is actually from my first stitch fix from January of this year uh, the jeans that I'm wearing are from Cut From The Cloth. I believe I got these from their website. They are a Natalie High Rise boot cut jean. And they've got just this um, one, one little mark of distressing right there. And it still has the, the thread showing. Um, it is a wide leg pant for the boot legs. And the shoes, uh, booties that I'm wearing are just a little brown booty. Um, I probably got these maybe from Kohl's. Um, they're leather, they do show a lot of uh, wear, the heels are pretty scratched up. Um, so I'm going to say these probably are a good 10 years old. Um, anyway, that is my look for today. And again, I'm just going to buy a battery for my lawnmower, so hoping I get a helpful salesman. Who knows, maybe I can fit the battery in here. But anyway, thank you again for watching, everyone. I truly appreciate your support. Um, let me know what you think of the things I've been putting together, if I'm doing okay, um, or any guidelines you can give me would be great. And uh, again, thank you just so much for your support. I truly appreciate everyone that's uh, being nice to me and uh, giving me some nice feedback and some helpful feedback. And we will talk again soon. All right. 
hopefully you liked this video when I kept it a little bit shorter with this format. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the format as well. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye-bye.